Alright guys, I'm back. Back for another video. Uh, the reason why I was unable to post videos is because um, I had uh, bad internet service where I live for, for about a month there. So then I got that one uploaded this morning because uh, we're back at school. That's not the reason why. Nowadays, no. I'm going to be posting a video every other day, I think, I'm going to try now. I'm sorry if I don't successfully do that, but... Oh, gee, look at that chicken right there. But yeah, so we're giving this a try. We're posting a video every other day. The reason I'd lie, I'd like to try that is just because... Alright, shout out back there. I tell ya, that's my ducks for ya. So yeah, I'd like to post every other day, and uh, now I'm back to school. I'm gonna use the school internet while I got it. For another... Once the winter comes, I might slow down just a little. I have not been in my shop in a long time here. So yeah, here she is. Got a battery in here. Red Top Optima. And Red Top Optima. Charging it. That this smart charger. Got a two barrel carburetor. I'm gonna put it on this. It'll be a first. I've never seen anything like it. But uh yeah, we're gonna show you the reason why I have not been in the shop in a while. And also you guys can tell it just like got done raining got home from school a couple hours ago maybe an hour ago now and uh yeah it was pretty terrible all right the cat's taking a dump again in there we got some new chickens all right so i've been uh, working on this It is a 1979 Ford Mustang. Uh, actually, right there. What the car is supposed to actually look like, but it's the pace car. As you guys can tell, it's been painted different. Everything. It's got different wheels. These are off of a Firebird, actually. You can see in that picture right there. But those are the original wheels. Uh, the tires went bad on it, and uh, yeah. So as you guys can tell, there is absolutely no rust on this car whatsoever. Well, my dad fixed all the rust about, it's been like 12 years since this car's been on the road actually. So there's the floor plugs. And yeah, it's completely gutted. I just got the sunroof back in. It's coming along. Everything should be going easy now. Uh, I'll show you what is holding me up right now. <laughs> Chicken right there. I'll show you what is holding me up right now. Uh, got this brake. This brake line over here. You guys can tell. Brake line like runs up through here, up through there, up in there, and then out the back there. While it's rusted out on the back, I would get under the car, but I'm not going to. Right, there's a weld fix. Oh, there's my kitty. Yeah, she needs a Mustang. Leave the door open now. And uh, the motor, I don't know if you guys have ever seen it. It was sitting right there. It's probably in my mini bikes video, actually. So now I got it back in the car. Motor's in, transmission's all in, sway bar's hooked up. It's actually running on an MSD ignition. It's got a uh, Edelbrock. I'm guessing that's a four barrel. I'm not positive. I'm sure it is. There's no way my dad wouldn't run without a four barrel. And the motor is built. Uh, my dad did it as his uh, call it, or his high school thing. As you can tell, my cat likes the camera. But yeah, I gotta put all of this interior in. Exhaust pipes. Uh, it's missing an exhaust right there. Otherwise, it's gonna get straight piped. All right, get off there. You're gonna scratch my paint. <laughs> but I have not been able to bring my truck back home yet. One more race car in there. 
As you guys can tell, I did not get a title on that video because I was in school and I just uploaded it and I tried it before. But yeah, there's the Bayou. Uh, I had a video on that, but I had to delete. I had to delete it in order to make some other fancy video that I could not post, so I had to delete that. So, yeah, it's been going good for me so far. Here's that turbo turtle. <laughs> Sitting right there in all of its glory. I got plans to rebuild that this winter. Uh, it's Murray. Cup got still down there. And uh, here is my scrap hoard. Well, it's pretty much all over the place, as you guys can tell. And uh, here's what I also, I stopped working on the Mustang now, and I'm working on this truck. Uh, this is a plow truck that I got from my grandparents. Oh, there's my... Kevin comes down here taking a look at it um, yeah this is a I don't know what to tell you guys oh yeah it's a it's a piece there we go alright so as you guys can tell um it's one of those fuel injected kind of motors. I'm still working on it, as you guys can tell. It's got a lot of work, but shut that. Going to the. I gotta put some oil on them hinges. I put some oil on the door hinges here. Look at that. No squeak. We'll get up in it. And actually, in the truck here, it's really clean. Super clean. And. This is a really nice truck. Well, in the interior, the frame, everything else is just trash. It's really bad. This, uh, it got, it was, oh, there's my pocket knife. Put that back up in my mobile toolbox. In there is all my tools. <laughs> I had to put a gas line on it and stuff like that. There's my cat. Why are we going in there? Uh, let's see. Right there. Hole in the frame. No good. Frame is rusted out. That is a uh, like. Shoot, let me get a better view on the back. Uh, no tailgate. Yeah, floor's all right. But um, you guys can see that up in there. Um, no, not really. But otherwise, the leaf spring is not supposed to be touching the bed of the truck. It's supposed to be down in that hanger there. <laughs> Hangers are junk. Uh, I actually got some of this. I'm gonna clean her up. I'm gonna build some custom brackets. That's pretty thick though. I'm gonna build custom brackets. A spare tire. Uh, I got a set of rims for it. This is a pretty nice group of tires. This is like brand spanking new. But uh, my dad used to have a, a white Chevy, or a, a blue Chevy truck. These six lugs here. These are 15 inches, so I can buy just about any kind of tire. I'm just gonna buy some that will give me grip when I put the plow back on. You guys can hear it, but that's thunder. I just pushed her off the truck here, off the trailer. I had a trailer at home. My dad had uh, just his Ford F-150. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you see the light fell off. But yeah. Get some antifreeze. It's probably got a little bit of water mixture. It's kind of hard to tell, but that was a little low, so I had to fill her up. All right, let's get off the trailer. Now that I'm back, we got videos to make. I got a couple seconds left for. All right, so guys, uh, please like and subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos every other day. It'll be awesome. Thanks for following me. Peace.